Nice, okay. Can we research anything new? It's only new. Oh, there you go. Cyber portal system. Okay, nice. Okay. Alright. We will know soon enough, I guess. Okay, plasma. Okay. Alright, now let's lose the alien alloys. Blood plasma, okay. Ion Buster battery discharge. All those things I don't think we need. Okay, where are we actually? Uh, here we are producing alloys, here we are producing nothing. Alright. Let's see now. Uh, pistols. So the smart magnum. So we have a bunch of titanium drums, so that's fine. Shotguns. Okay, so here we are fine. Melee. So we have... We need three more titanium sword and one more titanium knife, I presume. And we can get rid of a bunch of other things. Right, okay. Nine, ten. Ten alien alloys, then. Okay, let's do this. Jarhead corpse, okay, we already interrogate the Jarhead, but... The Jarhead is a gruesome reminder of the technological savvy of humanity's falls. The mechanical exoskeleton houses a small decay reactor which powers the cyborg. The brain is the jar or the brain in the jar is human and seems to be free of modification. Wow. Okay, now we have jarhead investigation. Let's see if we can What? Man, this corpse Why does it take so much? Okay. But yeah, first let's check the cyber portal system. Yeah, affects game, game progression. Uh, jacket top. Okay, this one also affects game, pro game progression. Okay, need to affect game progression already. And we kept the military sonic weapon technology. Our team supports your decision, Commander. We have analyzed the data and we already have some promising ideas. Nevertheless, it is obvious that in order to translate this concept into a hand weapon, a deep understanding of the principles of operation of alien solid weapons is necessary. So, probably what we need is to capture an alien. As usual. Oh. Okay, leave this for now. Let's do the jarhead investigation. Let's see how long this one takes. Stare out. Uh, mm hmm. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, just like a regular assault rifle, I guess. I mean, I think I still think the Black Ops assault rifle is better. 55, 70, Especially since we can probably make Tritanium for the assault rifle as well, okay. Is there our acquisition? We're not going to do that. Okay, alien alloys here, alright. So what did we need? Uh, we need... Was it one knife? Oops. And three swords. Okay. And here we have. Okay. So let's check here what was the status. Oops, no. Alright. So pistols. Uh, 18. So we have 6 of those. 
six of those and uh, I need 32 of those so six 13 four six I think it was six five four six five four but Okay. Almost out of almost out of ammunition or almost out of money I meant. Okay. So we are down here. And finally the anthropod corpse. Anthropod autopsy. Despite its humanoid shape, the anatomy of this creature is very alien. The skeleton is mostly cart Cartigenous with only a few robust bones composing the framework. Cartigenous, what does this mean? Made of cartilage, I guess. The organs have a diffuse quality, all the apparatus are spread within the mass of entrails. The brain size is slightly larger than humans, but it is composed of several ganglions which result in a lower interconnection density. So in other words, even if it's bigger, it means it's stupider than us. The respiratory, the respiratory system is rudimentary and inefficient, with noticeable signs of inflammation in it. Ooh. So what? All of this gave us nothing? Really? Okay. XCOM history units. Oh, data re encryption empty grenades. Hmm. Okay. Jarhead investigation. After a careful examination of Jarhead parts, we have concluded that at least some of them are fairly mundane components. Our next step was to check thoroughly if anyone in particular has been ordering these parts. The work was pretty nightmarish since there were thousands of companies involved, but in the end we found some leads. We will keep an eye on these parts and try to follow them, hopefully to the place where these jarheads are made. Ooh, I sense another mission there. On a separate note, I also found out some old documents men mentioning a, cre a similar creature. The records are from the 1950s and originate from some British organization called UNIT. Maybe important. Interesting. I come here to unit hybrid network, okay. So spider queen. Good, okay. So let's see, let's hybrid network I guess. Let's check out this. Um Okay, let's do it like this for now. Tritanium sword, so let's see, Tritanium knife. Okay, let's get back to making money. Zombie parasite. A small organism is ready for insertion into a human being which would turn them into a zombie. It is clearly alien in origin. Alright, zombie plot. Damage zombie parasite. Okay. Poor. Oh, come on. Average is at 13. 
Let's see. Damage zombie parasite, okay. Let's check out this. And strange life form right in the middle. Okay. What do we have? Is everybody. Let's see in the middle. Okay, just three days until he gets ready again. Okay, I guess we could send this team. All right. Let's see. So, Tritanium knife, okay, no need for in this. Well, actually, let's let's take it and Tritanium sword. So I yeah, don't need combat knife anymore or machete or any of those other things. Okay. Oh, dark pistol. Mm, okay, maybe we should try to get some guys alive. All right. And it's over Antarctica too. Let's see, okay, during daylight, nice. A local inhabitant, oh no. So it's only one creature maybe, okay. Uh, right, let's try to capture it alive. Okay, let's go like this. Alright. It's only one creature. It's probably something. Oh, there you go. What is it? Oh, a werewolf. I think we have already. We have already captured the life werewolf, so. Don't need to. Okay. Let's see if we can kill him from distance. Yeah. Okay, we're of corpse. Alright. Blood plasma, yeah, don't need that much blood plasma now. Care okay, mutation. Oh, come on. Come on, are you kidding me? Okay. Let's take the van. Uh, right. Okay. 
Uh, oops. Okay. Oh, we have some of those things, okay. Four, four, sixteen, twelve. All right. So if you notice I'm taking rookies. Or close to rookies. Right. Okay. And actually, oh, uh, actually, electric rod. What is this tuner rod? I keep seeing it, but can't research it anyway. Okay. All right. Let's see. Public van number one. Oh, and dangerous lunatic. Oh, come on. I thought I was done doing those kinds of missions. just go with the calls actually I mean I don't want to I don't want to waste the titanium armor for him oh helicopter right oh you want have some titanium clips for that Helicopter, what is it? Helicopter 4, Madman Rampage, oh man. Ok, 
Okay, here we have ten turns, of course. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, these guys are okay. <laughs> these guys cannot carry much. What really? This is how much you can carry? It's ridiculous. Okay. All right. Okay, this guy is a little bit more powerful. Oh, I forgot a medkit though. Okay, this was unfortunately. No, not unfortunately. Unfortunate. Alright, uh, I'll just do it like this. And man, it's a bit dark too. Okay, but okay, judging by the music, I'm guessing we are not really dealing with many in black here just regular farmers I think no many in black or zombies there is whoa okay come to the roof nice shoot him from here okay it's pretty secured so okay, maybe we should try and chop next time wow nice okay got him to sleep the other guy then all right there you go okay what oh, okay Okay, there you go. One small mission, we get a bunch of EXP. Cool, cool. Alright, so now I need to check out the other mission I was... Yeah, there we go, there's the one. I was waiting for the light there. And here maybe I... I'm also, I also forgot the... Uh... <laughs> Not enough items to call it complete. Alright. Of course. I forgot. Ok, 
Okay. Okay. Alright, just... The belt is the other mad kit is not going to happen. Oh, so I see him right away. Cool of apocalypse, armed with a desert eagle or something. Okay, so I think we can even take two aim shots with you. So 28, 24, 48. Okay, can we do this? And oh, okay. This wasn't good. Okay. Let's see. Let's let's get closer and just. Take one shot. And there we go. A little bit of experience. There's a regal wall of cash madness there. Yeah. Let's sell it all. XCOM history unit. Alright. XCOM history unit. In 1940s, a UFO crashed on British soil, alerting the government to the alien presence. This information was never shared with any other country. Instead, a special response team was assembled in, and in case they came again. The aliens did return a number of times and were engaged in, on several occasions. Unit losses were high, but they achieved several victories, seizing some alien corpses and equipment. Nice. They then took an active role in battling other related threats, mostly cyborgs created on Earth by alien agents. After it was eventually disbanded, unit personnel participated in the Xenonauts project. Their scientific division never went far with the alien tech, but they invented a few gadgets like anti-robot weaponry. We found the blueprints for EMP grenades. Really only that... And here everything is poor, oh man, come on. Uh, okay, why? Okay, average, average. Average. Maybe, okay. Pretty sure here we need 13 again. Okay. Hybrid network. It appears that our planet is not only infested with cults, but also infiltrated by agents bioengineered by the aliens themselves. Disguised as normal people and preparing the planet for some sort of harvest? Well, I can't say exactly how much truth there is in these tall tales, but we still have documents that contain information on this hybrid network. And I will track them down personally. I wonder how many types of hybrids are out there and what they look like. I will personally track them down and kick their ass. <laughs> okay. Fun stuff. Okay, good. Average. Okay, good. Anything else here? Zombie plots. Okay. Large workshop is still poor. Okay, let's check out the zombie plots. Large radar system at... Okay, nice. We have a radar system. Main information now. Long range detection 3. So we don't have short range detection. I mean, I wonder whether... In the original XCOM I remember there was like long range and short range. But I think the long range also included the short range. So, I mean... 
yeah, I don't think it matters that much that we have no short range detection. And same thing here, right? Here we build the radar. Okay. Knockout grenade. Okay. Combining the trigger mechanism from a small grenade with a small pressure scan instead of an aesthetic gas. These grenades are on an ideal with low strength way to capture life aliens. Oh, nice. So these are for aliens along with the dart stuff. Right. Hmm. Yeah, Spire Queen and Large Workshop. Okay. Right, so I mean. Knockout grenade. Let's make some, yeah. What is it though? Knockout grenade. Cause even 250, oh man. <laughs> it's like ridiculously cheap. Let's make 24 then. Alright, zombie plot. We have established that the so called zombie parasites appear in an area with confirmed alien activity. An alien vessel crew abducts a human, brainwashes them into a hypnotic like state, and hands them several zombie parasites to be deployed in the local community. While the hyp hypnosis is temporary, the victim usually ends up as the last host in the patch, which is how secrecy is maintained. Unfortunately, we can only speculate about the aliens through motives. So yeah, basically they're taking over small villages and turning them into zombies. Okay, so... Nice, so this is the detection range. So I guess we could build here one as well. Although we don't have the money yet. But yeah, once we have 800,000, we could probably build another radar there. Okay, let's see if we can actually sell some stuff. Uh... Cyber Technomats. I mean, we have already interrogated those guys, right? Cyber Prophecy. Oh, right. Those we have, but we cannot. We cannot interrogate. Oh, okay. Let's see. Those we can definitely sell. Uh, Demi Zombie Parasites. Okay, we still haven't. I think we still haven't researched that one yet. And all cyber techno mods are pretty expensive. Maybe we can interrogate him later and learn something new. Okay, cyber techno mod corpse, though, definitely. Maybe one corpse. No dependencies, so oh, really. Well. Giant beetle. Oh, so it's something extra. Sorry, I think I still haven't... Max star corpse. No dependencies. Giant red corpse. Blood plasma again. Okay, we don't need blood plasma right now. Honestly. And yeah, those things that we cannot... Examination of no dependencies. Can we even examine it? Standard lab. Okay, what do we know? And electronics. Those are probably expensive. Still thinking of selling the dual threat manufacturing. Uh, Dirtred Gold Design, Wolfproof Gold Design, Dirtred Origins, Personal Protection, Improved, oh, okay, so we do need Dirtred Manufacturing, Cyclone, oh, okay, we can use it for something else, Alien Communicator, I mean, oh, Money Briefcase, let's go. Big bone. Bone. We've discovered those things, right? Ooh, and check out how many batteries we have. 
really okay so uh, okay i think we can keep a bit of about 30 the rest we can sell and also alien alloy welder and alien multi tool do we really need them Okay, so we have a bunch of those things. Okay, maybe for covert operations we cannot use the Titanium knives, so let's keep some of those just in case. But X, okay, we'll include all of uh, need for those, okay. Alright, million two hundred. Alright, large treasure system, let's go. Beach sightings. Some beach goers in South Atlantic observed a strange, not entirely human silhouette sneaking out of a coastal forest and disappearing into the ocean. Okay, actually, I think I've read this before a long time ago. Minus 25. And strange life form again. Okay. So, guys, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave this mission for tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later again. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>